norm. Mm, right. Don't be ashamed of it. Share it so that you can, because sharing it is how you find somebody who resonates with what you want. Right. It's okay you know, that you want funny, that. You know what's say. funny, Delani, that that's, that's a Christian tenet. That that's, <laughs> in the black community, if you delve far enough into the Bible, you will find a scripture that says, you know, not only are you supporting these other people or whatever who are living these immoral lifestyles, but you are basically, um, I lost my train of thought that quickly, like <laughs> on alcohol, <laughs> tea pain, but um, <laughs> you know, I, I, also I, had a, I had a point I wanted to make is, to you, Delani, about one of the things you said earlier, which was, you know, it starts, you know, with being able to have the communication with each other. Yes. Um, and part of that communication has to deal with trust. And right. one of the things I was talking about in the monogamy issue is mm. that um, it's not the infidelity that destroys the relationship, it's the lies. You know, it's the, right. the idea that you can yes. no longer trust that person with something as important as where you're sticking your body parts in, you know. No, <laughs> like, no you can't trust right them to be yeah. able to tell you. Right, anything. Yeah, it's especially not about where they that, stick their body parts. Well, it's no, I'm not just saying really that about it's something where they stick as their body parts. as your it physical is, body, and you cannot talk to them about what you want to do with it. You know, right. it's not right. even necessarily the other person because it could just be a fantasy that you have that right. doesn't even like include said, other people. If the fact you, that you couldn't out, tell them, it could be a hurtful thing to that person. You know? Right. It, if you just come out and say, I messed up. I did yeah. this. You just came out front, up front with it from the first beginning. Yeah. Then everything be, it probably won't be the same again. And I won't right. even say it'll be all right, but it'll be right. respected. Right. right. It'll be respected. Now, what would be ten be years down the line? What would right. even be more respected is before you did it, you said there is an possibility yeah. right. that I right. might I have I, to do this because. But here's the thing, I'm though. Feeling in this moment. Here's the thing right. I had in the article, which was, um, if you give off this vibe, um, or even just say straight up, I cannot be with someone who is non-monogamous, and you happen to be with someone who's non-monogamous, but they are too scared to tell you, you're basically saying, like, if you want to be with me, you're going to have to lie to me and tell me that you're not fucking around with other people. I, even though, I, no, I no, have no, 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 transcended that. Here, I have transcended that, and, and, yeah. and I want to speak on that briefly, Delani. Mm. That, um, at, you know, you know, because you were witness mm. to the crazy um, engagement that I was in last year. <laughs> Hallelujah. And, and I want to <laughs> confront that head on. Okay, go what, ahead. what I want to say is that my mind, you know, through years of indoctrination through years of just herd mentality, wanting to belong to what I saw as Christian and salvation, and only that, had led me to a point where I was not questioning all of these, these stagnant ideas in my head about love. You know, and, and I was at a point where it's only this way. It, it, it's not white. It's black. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, you know, throughout conversations, research and everything, I've learned to open my mind and reach a point where I can agree with Malcolm here. And I can see that love does not only present itself through monogamy, but it does validly present itself in other ways. Right. And w mm -hmm. with my current lover, you know, even though I struggle with some, some feelings of, oh, my God, like, He's out there doing this, that, and the other. I don't feel like I'm, you know, kind of on these witch hunts to find out the flaws going on, to crucify him or anything. I feel a lot freer by letting him operate under his own, you know, beliefs and what have you. And there's love there. There yeah. is. It's valid exactly. love. Exactly. See, this is, this is one of those concepts that it's hard to teach because it's hard to put it in to words mm -hmm. is that love is never lost. Love transcends right. who a person is. Because I'm sorry. Love transcends how a person expresses themselves because love is about who they are. Mm -hmm. 
not necessarily yeah. about how they express themselves. Yeah. And when you love somebody, you see beyond, as they say, as the, 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 the old spiritual goes, yeah. he looked beyond my faults and saw my yeah. needs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It goes, like, it goes yeah. beyond that. But yeah. also, but here's the other thing, is that you can love somebody at that level and still not be in a romantic relationship with them. You can right. choose to be, or you can choose not to be. As yeah. long as, my thing is, as long as a person is conscious enough, which is, means given all of the per, prerequisite inf information so that they can make a informed decision about right. what they're going to do, which is, right. which is fine. The, the, Here's the thing that I find mm. about being monogamish mm. or being non-monogamous right. is what are what really are your motivations? Because mm -hmm. we, like we were talking earlier about um, about uh, being addicted to substances, right. there are people who are addicted to sex. Right. They are not necessarily addicted to the physical act of sex as much as they are addicted to the feeling of love, appreciation, um, acceptance, etc. That comes from sex. Yeah. So I I'm have to, with this I person, have to jump in. you I'm can actually be chemically person, addicted to sex. And this person too. is okay. Yeah. This person is cool, but right. I've I need to feel like more people appreciate me. So I'm going out and having sex with other people. This is and this is that's it. I have a to. different that's, yeah, that's a, a different, different thing. Yeah. I, yeah. I have to I have to jump on the floor like Michael Jackson and do a few moves. <laughs> this this is something that is exciting me like a mm. whole bunch of electrons. No, um my current partner is sex addicted. Mm. He is, and I love him no less. Um, you know, for that. I it's don't great. completely yes. I don't completely understand everything, but I am opening my opening myself up to learning more and more about what sex addiction is and what sex addiction is not, because there are people who are monogamous who are not sex addicted from a, there a are psychological some people, point of view. Right. There yeah. are some people whose authentic expression lends itself to having more than one partner. And right. that's great. Yeah. That is great. The, the, there is a whole world full of people. Not yeah. everybody is going to want to experience the relationship the same way. That's right. fine. And the people who like that and who are authentically like that will mm -hmm. be drawn to one another and they can live life to but the fullest they, in that yeah. way. But like I said, you don't have to do the act. You just, I think that there's something you need to talk about in a relationship. You, yeah. you, you can never be never do no be with another person like that ever but it's a good thing to talk about in a relationship yeah people it just changes the whole feeling of it too people I mean. may right. never actually physically have sex with yeah. somebody else right. but will exchange pictures of their body parts will have sexual conversation with other people will do all the things other than but yeah. never really come to the root of and that's what what were we saying earlier oh the hangman upside yeah. down most mm -hmm. of the world is the hangman <laughs> reverse. Those, those of them, who, in other words, who refuse to make sacrifices. They won't. For the refuse, yeah. They refuse to yeah. really take a good look at who they believe themselves to be, and right. are willing to lay that down for who they could become. And they right. have these desires about who they want to become, but right. you can't. I can't hold this bag and pick up the remote at the same time. <laughs> right. If I want to pick up the remote with this, yeah. bag, I'm gonna have to drop this bag. Right. But I like this bag. This right. bag has a baconator <laughs> in it, and I like oh, God. bacon and cheese on a burger. Right. But if I want to pick up the remote and change the channel, or respond to that text message. <laughs> or do anything else with this hand, I'm going to have to drop this. Yeah. And you know, the what's hangman funny is... reverse to me says, I don't want to drop this, yet I'm still trying to be some, I'm still trying to pick up the remote. Yeah, I was right. going to say, there are, it's interesting how we can make sort of symbolic associations with things that are somewhat unrelated to each other. I would say <laughs> this, is, 
this is a good example I've had. Um, you know, James and I probably meet each other at most once a week. It's mainly because of uh, his work schedule. And um, but when we do get together, it's you know, it's on and popping. <laughs> I mean, a lot of the time we spend together. But what happens, however, is we usually get something to eat. Now, it's funny how people make these associations with certain things, like you know, couples will have a song or you know, a show or something that they spent together and did together or whatever. Yeah, my boo got bacon. <laughs> well, ours, ours, at least to me, <laughs> in my you know subjective experience, has been these chicken wings that we get. Like, <laughs> and I cannot get these chicken wings. Wow. That sounds We're, so black. I know. I cannot get these chicken wings without thinking about you, James. That was watermelon. I know. Like every time there's <laughs> chicken wings involved, I couldn't help myself. Like even that time we went to like the bakery factory, I was eating wings, right? And we ate wings in the room, and we ate wings here. <laughs> we ate wings every time we were together. Did you have any? Crackers? I need some fucking fried chicken wings. So. Uh, I need you to bleep that when you really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm. So. Uh, it's true. And Jesus is pleased. But, I know. Anyway, <laughs> um, those chicken wings have absolutely nothing to do <laughs> with, with James particularly, but I can then, in my mind, create this association between him and these wings. Like, they have nothing to do with each other. And then, of course, there can be outside associations, um, because then there's, like, the delivery guy. <laughs> Oh, I remember him. I <laughs> the remember delivery guy, him. I live in a small town. You know, James and I live in a small town, so I'm out shopping, and he's in the fucking grocery store. <laughs> he's like, hey, you're that dude who orders those wings every weekend, aren't you? He's like, oh, shit, they got me pegged. <laughs> James, have you seen the delivery guy for yourself? Yes, I have. And, yeah. and, and how do you feel about him? <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's just say, I'm yeah. sure there could be some fantasy spun out of it. I've already done I, it. I say, uh, if I was a, <laughs> if I was a judge at a gym, gymnastic, I would give him a ten. How about that? Yeah. Oh. And this is the thing. Oh. I'm almost scared to tip him too much because it's like, <laughs> just doing it because he's hot. You know, like is it just? Of course you are. I know I am. <laughs> but I'm like, I don't want to waste money on it. But no, he came the other day. I think it was raining, and I was just like. Man, I'm really just gonna give him my money, aren't I? Just because. But anyway, I don't know. That's all. One dollar after one dollar, one dollar. This, this, this is what I, I just. Mm. I kind of feel like mm. <laughs> sometimes folks are way too willing to go for the instant gratification, right? Than to hold out for their dream. Yeah. Um, Toast. Toast. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, there's, that's definitely. I, I just, and I think that, yeah. that it's like, like again, mm. there are some people whose authentic expression is a polyamorous type of romantic right. engagement. Right. I think that there are also at least just as many people who really authentically want a monogamous relationship, yeah. who want to have a person that they continue to grow with throughout their lives. And here's the thing that I would say about those transcending two. Transcending, that even could end up, because it, now this is yeah. not even saying that this is something that will end up them being married and only having sex with one another, but that yeah. it ends up transcending this whole idea of there has to be this physical cons consummation mm -hmm. of our engagement mm -hmm. that we, like, I know for myself, mm -hmm. if something were to happen to, to, to my boyfriend and he was unable to have sex, mm -hmm. I would still yeah. not have sex, yeah. sex with anybody else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because my relationship to him, and that doesn't mean that I won't find other people attractive or whatever, but see, at where I am in my life right now is I almost have to force myself to have fantasies about other people. Yeah. Because that's really not where I'm interested in. That's